Welcome back friends. In our previous video, we have seen how drone swarms are programmed in order to put up a scintillating performance. In today's video, we will be looking at the potential use cases of drones in military and how these drones are changing the face of modern day warfare. By drones, I do not mean those buzzing things that your neighbor's kids fly. No, God, please, no, no, no. No! In fact, I mean those badass flying machines which can shoot missiles, drop bombs and make the enemies run for their lives. One of the main uses of drones in the military is for surveillance. Drones can be used to track real-time movements, locations and the activities of terrorists. It can also be used to provide terrain features and weather conditions in real time. They can also carry sensors and cameras that can detect heat signatures, infrared radiations, radio signals and chemical traces. Drones can fly at a high altitude, long distances and for long durations, making them ideal for reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. These are like the ultimate spies, except that they don't wear tuxedos or drink martinis. Dry martini. Oui, monsieur. Wait. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of quinoa lily, shake it over rice and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. The second usage of such drones are in combat missions, where drones are given the ability to carry missiles rockets, bombs, or guns to destroy the enemy's targets. They can also act as decoys to distract or confuse enemy defenses. Drones can perform combat missions that are too difficult or dangerous or costly for manned aircrafts. They can also operate in environments that are hostile or inaccessible to the humans. Another example of drones being used in combat is that of commercially available drones being fit with bombs, making it a cheaper alternative for precisely striking targets like missiles. Such drones were used to carry out kamikaze attacks in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Potentially, if these drones are given the power of AI, then with facial recognition, these drones will be able to act as a sniper which never misses its target. The third use of drones in the military is for target decoys. Drones can mimic the behavior of manned aircrafts in order to deceive the enemy radars and air defenses. The MALD is a low-cost, programmable, autonomous flight vehicle designed to deceive enemy integrated air defense systems by mimicking US or allied aircraft. If you have been following this channel, you would know about the concept of Loyal Wingman, an artificially intelligent drone which is capable of acting as a support system for the manned aircraft in order to protect it. The Loyal Wingman is still in the early phases. The drone hasn't taken its first flight yet. Boeing Australia says they'll start with ground and taxi tests, then move on to putting this bird in the sky for its maiden flight later this year. This might make you wonder what the future of drones in the military would look like. So to get started, what is better than one drone? You guessed it, a group of drones. Such drones would be known as swarm of drones. These are group of drones that can coordinate and communicate with each other to perform complex tasks. They can be used for surveillance, attack, defense or logistics. They are like a flying army that never breaks formation.
drones always have an advantage if they go undetected which brings us to our next point which is stealth drones and hypersonic drones stealth drones are drones that can evade detection by enemy radars and sensors they can be used for covert operations or surprise attacks these are like flying ninjas that never reveals itself hypersonic drones on the other hand are drones that can fly faster than 5 times the speed of sound they can be used for rapid response or strategic strike these are like flying rockets that never slows down another possibility is of introducing artificial intelligence to drones that is ai powered drones these drones have the ability of learning adapting and decision making such drones are able to operate autonomously or semi autonomously but is it a good idea because we have already discussed the consequences of ai going rogue and when it comes to drones then ai going rogue is not a new scenario as we see in this video there's this one particular simulation that has caught the world's attention why because in the simulation the drone went rogue and killed its operator now don't panic nobody was actually harmed since well it was a simulation but the operator could have been killed if the drone was operating in a real combat mission luckily that was a simulation but surely if we harness the power of drones and ai in a controlled way we can gain advantages in leaps and bounds that's all for today if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel also do check out our previous video on drone shows in india and if you want to know about the consequences of ai going rogue do check out this video i'll see you there